Hey, in this episode, I want to ask you the question, can you hear what's wrong with your songs and do you know how to make them better? And I'm going to help you pinpoint some things that might be wrong with your songs so you can make them stronger, that they'll sell better, they'll impact more people's lives, and you'll just have some hit songs. So let's get into this because I think it's really going to help you. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, I've been uh, working on a new song. This song, I think, is going to be a hit. And uh, it started with me just recording it in my uh, car, just an idea. I remember my wife was with our daughter, and so I went into the truck to record it and um, worked on it, sent it to a buddy who, uh, you know, had some ideas for a chorus. We wrote a chorus, and then we took it to a producer, and the producer is making a beat right now, or made the beat. And then once the beat was done, and we had to kind of go back and forth on that, and, you know, what's interesting is I had to beat him up a little bit about it, and there was a little bit of back and forth for him to get it. And you know what's so cool is he just kept on, like, he didn't give up. And then he turned in a masterpiece. And like the first thing that he did, I was like, oh man, he, I'm not sure if he fully gets it or not. And he's already done incredible work for me before, but it just didn't hit it the first time. And so anyways, we went back and gave him better direction. Because sometimes when you give a producer or somebody direction, you didn't give them clear enough you know, guidelines. And it really didn't really explain what you want. This is with anything. It's communication and really you know, telling somebody what you want and making it clear. And sometimes even when you make it really clear, they don't get it. But anyways, is the point is, is that the attitude of this guy is amazing. And he dug in and he made it incredible. Okay. And the beat was awesome. And it was to the point where it's like, okay, this is really good. And then I had to rework my verse around it. And I, I remember I had to spend like a whole morning trying to just get it right and, and make it fit and stuff like that. And it's funny because my daughter was home from school that day on a snow day. So she's like at my feet while I'm like trying to rework this verse and make it work. And I got something and, and it took some effort and it took some trying. And, you know, because sometimes we can be like, oh, I'll just force my verse to fit on this new track. And because you don't want to put the work in and you're so tied and so hung up on yourself and on your verse that you don't try to make it great. And so, you know, because the tempo that I was singing this this verse at was, was a little too slow and it just, I knew it could be better, you know? And so I kind of did some more do- like double timing, like rap stuff and just made it really cool. And I recorded it and the guys freaked out. They loved it. And then so my buddy who wrote the hook, he also had to rework the hook a little bit. You know, we're trying to make this thing the best we can. And so what I'm trying to encourage you guys with is like, look, like sometimes it it takes time to rework this thing and and you don't want to just force art. You got to be moldable. You got to be pliable. Okay. And it doesn't end there because then I had to do the second verse and I did that and I recorded the rough draft of it just on a whatever basic scratch vocals we call them when it's like kind of like a a real demo demo. But uh, yesterday I recorded the first verse and the second verse and the first verse sounds amazing. It's just crazy, the vibe. And, you know, right now at this point, like the song's not even done yet and we might not even like use the chorus now until the end or I'm like questioning whether it even needs a hook just with the way the layout is, but we'll see what happens. But the point is I was recording the second verse yesterday it was a little harder because it was uh, some of the, there's too many words in the song. And anyways, I got it done and it sounded cool. But then the producer emails me back after I sent him. He's like, yeah, everything sounds really great, man. But the second verse, you sound a little, sound a little tongue tied. And I was like, dude, that's so weird because I was struggling with it and I knew it didn't fully sound right. And so I'm going to go rework that. Okay. And I could always be like, no, it sounds fine. And, you know, when you, you, you know, you're cramping on my style, man, and not being willing to be flexible, you know, when already I knew it, you know, I, I could knew because there was something with the S's and just the way it was coming across wasn't as strong as it could be. And I don't want just verse number one to be awesome. I want verse number two to be just as awesome because like, man, like I want to hit song. I don't want just, you know, mediocrity here. I want, I want this one to stand. I want this one to get millions of streams. And I know that's putting the extra work. And so I just messed with the syllables 
and moving some things around. So I'm gonna do that first, but then I'm gonna go a little deeper and I might even just rework the whole thing and just completely different words and I won't mess with the melody maybe too much, but I'm just gonna see if I can just beat it now because um, I don't wanna just try and make this thing fit, you know what I mean? Because if it's not the right melody, or it's not the right vibe, I don't wanna mess with it. I just want it to be as strong as possible. So what's interesting is I felt like emailing my producer back and saying, you know, that's why you're, you know, successful and that's why you're doing so well is because you pushed back on me. You know, you didn't just hit record. You didn't just go, oh yeah, that's great, man. Let's just move forward. Let's just put another song out there. No, because he's going to put his name on this too. And he wants it to be the best song as possible. And so I really encourage you that when you're working with people, if there's not a little bit of pushback, and I'm not just saying pushback for pushback's sake, I'm saying pushback that's like legit reasons, like, hey dude, this really could be stronger. You know what I mean? And sometimes you'll have disagreements on things, but like at the end of the day, man, like you should be on the right path. And it depends on how seasoned somebody is and how much more, you know, I don't know if the word's professional, but just experience they've had. They might see things that you've never seen before and you need to kind of like look at that and say, okay, yeah, no, I, I really want that. You're right. Let's let's change that. Let's fix that. It's funny. I see artists that are new and honestly not successful, um, whether it's um, it could be a guitarist, it could be a drummer, it could be a bass player. I'm going to say all three, but it's funny how the bass players get hung up on the bass and the guitar players get hung up on the guitar parts and the drummers, uh, you know, the drummers get hung up on the drums. And honestly, man, from my experience, I'm, I'm not a drummer, I'm not a guitarist, I'm a songwriter, and that means everything is encompassed, so I, I try to look at the whole song holistically. Obviously, I'm a lyric guy, so I hear that and I hear melodies first, but I'll be straight up, man, if you don't have a good song written, the song, the lyrics, the melody, then, you know, the track can be all, almost anything. It has to be right, but a good song, it comes down to the song writing in the lyrics and the the layout of it like a lot of times the production behind it can change it's easy to you know sub in with something different and um but it's funny i see you know newer songwriters and artists try to come up with stuff and they're focusing on the wrong things and so maybe you're getting caught up on the snare sound and you know the guitar sound i'm not saying that stuff's not important but i, I can almost guarantee you that's not the problem with your song it's the, the song itself like it's it's probably the lyrics it's the melody it's not clear enough it's not catchy enough that's normally the problem with the song so hope that's helped you make sure to leave a comment subscribe um, like this video if you're watching it on YouTube and uh, just keep writing better songs you know you improve you improve and you improve and you improve and I'm seeing my songwriting uh, improve more just because I'm doing it more you know I, I've already put my 10,000 hours in but I want to get sharper and I want to get better and uh, um, you know, it just takes time. So, hey, keep at it. Never quit. Peace. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also leave a comment or a review and let me know how I've helped you or what other topics you want me to cover on this podcast. I always read them and it always inspires me to hear your story. And also, if you need more music marketing help or you just need more coaching or you need your questions answered in a deeper way, I have a coaching program called Fanbase University. Go to fanbaseuniversity.com to sign up because on the 12th, and 24th of every month I answer all your questions coaching my students plus you get access to exclusive video training on how to market your music and grow your fan base go to fanbaseuniversity.com and start your trial today and I look forward to helping you grow your career cheers